Hello guys, welcome back to another retro movie review and today for the first time I watched Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2 is a movie that came out five years after the original Ghostbusters and I have actually watched the first Ghostbusters movie and done a retro movie review for that. So if you want to go and watch that, please do. The video is on the channel. But here we have the sequel, Ghostbusters 2. And again, I will say right off the bat, the branding is exceptional. Um, that's one of the best things about this whole series. Like it looks great, like the whole branding. Um, love it. Just, just love how it looks. It's just so simple. But this is the sequel that is directed by Ivan Reitman. Now, Ivan Reitman did do the original movie and this did come out five years after the first one and I think it was probably four or five years after the last one ended as well so it was you know well set up for the next one obviously they had plenty of time to do it all of the cast comes back basically from the first one so you know they managed to to do it properly if you if you will they, they didn't reboot it or anything like that you know it was a full-on sequel but I didn't like it. I think I said in my first review for the first movie that it's, I'm really struggling, especially the first one, that was a 12 rated in the UK, this one's actually a PG. Now, my criticism of that one was that it didn't really know what it, who it was aimed for. And this one was PG, which obviously they toned down a bit of the horror elements, uh, made it much more family focused, whereas like the other one was trying to be family, but then was crossing that line of, you know, you know, a bit more, um, I guess, teen based or older children based so you know it, it, it found that balance and this one is a pg uh which didn't go well for it um it wasn't scary it made things laughable it made it too comedic for me um which that's the thing it is a comedy movie but i just don't think the stunts were very well done in this one in comparison to the first one i thought the first one had like better action better um like villains and all that type of stuff this one was this, just this guy in a painting who had this like or not orange purple pinky goo under the city um that was just like multiplying and stuff like that was basically the plot and it sounds terrible awful and and it was i didn't really enjoy it as much as i did the first one that being said the 4k quality of this was much better than the first one like the first one looked horrendous it was grainy it was terrible it looked like a blu-ray if not a dvd this 4k looked like a 4k um which was great um also dolby atmos as well so the height stuff was really good and it looked um like i said a lot better than the first one so i will give that props for the 4k story wise though as i say it was just very stupid unbelievable boring and um i did grab my phone once or twice you know in the middle of the movie it just was wasn't great soundtrack wise as well was quite weak in this like the actual score like the score was much better in the first one i'm not sure if they're the same composer or whatever but the, f the score in this one just was quite weak and just was wasn't as prominent as it was before but i did like the car the car in this one was better the ecto one there on the back uh that was much better in this one they actually had like um all lights on it and stuff we actually got some shots like properly inside the car like in the back of the car uh which we haven't really got anything of in the first two movies and considering how iconic that car is i mean i know what that car is even without seeing these movies i thought you'd get a bit more footage of the car i don't really get much with the car to be honest with you so all in all though ghostbusters 2 what am i going to rate it out of 10 well i'm going to give it a five and a half out of 10 um boring um would i watch this again no would i want to show this to my children no i mean this ghostbusters movies that i've got now are borderline keeping them you no, know, keep them in the collection like i mean i don't really think i'm ever going to want to watch these films again the first one i did score a bit higher so spoiler if you want to watch that review um i did prefer the first one to this one but the story for me was the worst part about this film bill murray dan Aykroyd, sigourney weaver coming back harold ramis as well they they all did great all the people coming back for this film bill murray and sigourney weaver's chemistry was really good they followed on from the first one uh, their chemistry and and even dan Aykroyd as well and, and they did really really well like the acting performance in wise but the story was just bad it was just a bad sequel story in my opinion and it just didn't it wasn't executed very well i can understand why this movie finished uh, um sorry this movie was done and then there was no third movie really um because you know it just didn't hold up but there it is guys there is my review of ghostbusters 2 let me know your thoughts down below have you seen this of course a lot of people probably have is my review fair five and a half out of ten just didn't grab me didn't didn't entertain me and yeah thanks for watching it, guys stay tuned for more retro movie reviews coming soon and of course please stay tuned for all my ghostbusters ones which i'll be releasing very very shortly and then of course ranking all of the ghostbusters movies from worst to best thanks for watching it, guys 
guys. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.